yes good day as you have been asked out with the electronic components which lies in the mechatronic system in the present day class we will be looking at the hydraulic and pneumatic actuation systems and what is the basic principle in the case of this hydraulic operation and simultaneously in the case of this pneumatic actuation systems the key role of electronics in the both in both operating of hydraulic and pneumatic actuators we need to incorporate the pressure for the different kinds of fluids in the case of hydraulic systems and compression of air or gases in the case of pneumatic systems coming to the basic points of uh, this hydraulic and pneumatic conditions that is the pneumatic power how the pneumatic power or air power cylinders are being utilized for compressing the air the, the term pneumatic specifies this gaseous medium which involves the atmosphere a combination of uh, different gases or else the particularly the individual gases refers to the pneumatic and hence this pneumatic power in the sense which is having the pressure other than the normal atmospheric range So the normal atmospheric range of pressure it is one bar, and greater than the normal atmospheric range of pressure leads to the pneumatic power in operation within an enclosed system. That is nothing but the compressed air, which is having the pressure that is greater than the atmospheric range. Whether it can be stored in a board or uh, injected by a pump, but not in the open medium, it produces a linear motion through activation of the cylinders, rotation of the cylinders, either in two and three motions, or else the clockwise or counterclockwise motions. Yes, of this uh, hydraulic will be utilizing the fluids, different types of fluids. Even these are we all aware of uh, the the fluids are uh, incompressible. Hence, most we will be utilizing different kinds of oils, that is called as an incompressible fluids. Actually, these fluids require the pump to generate the pressure, and corresponding flow to be maintained by altering or managing by utilizing different kinds of valves, such as the throttle valves, sequence valves, pressure control valves, etc. These are very much complex and difficult to build because the motor generates the high amount of pressure within the fluids, and that need to be monitored and need to guide the actuators for its actuation. That to and fro motions, or else the rotatory motions. So they say that clockwise or Pump fluids in direction, and even this equipment is very much costly. 
the major advantage in the case of this hydraulic power when compared to the pneumatic power pneumatic leads to an pop sound and generates the quick actions as per the incorporation of the pressure into the gear as in the case of this hydraulics there will be an controlled manner of uh, operation and the fluid which is entering into the medium or else the actuator guides the actuator to be functioning in very much smooth in function and one more the greater difference between these two in the case of pneumatic actuation or pneumatic power incorporation into the actuator will be utilizing an additional layer of FRL event that is filtration or regulation and this lubrication event in which the air will get in touch with the lubrication for its smooth function which will be applying with the precise air and outer lanes internal walls of the piston and cylinder arrangement it seems to be a for, for smooth operation of this piston within the cylinder because the air consists of moisture and even pressurized air will be consisting of more hydrogen molecules that the moisture content leads to form a corrosion between this sliding element that is in between the system and the cylinder arrangement. So indeed to avoid this condition, this lubrication is lubrication channel is connected. Whereas in the case of this hydraulic system, the oils, the lubrication machines will be utilizing this little oils. Here, in the case of this hydraulics, that oils were itself acting as a major element for driving the actuator. Hence, it doesn't require any additional parameter for the lubrication process. It itself acts as a self lubricant in the case of hydraulics. This is a normal representation of the collecting cylinder which is having two different strokes that is forward stroke and return stroke. Whereas the inlet towards this considering the same fourth one and the fourth two which as the inlet and the outlet ports when the air is air or fluid replaced air or fluid air and entering into the valve one second valve will leads to or uh, the piston extends towards the to motion and this is the extended conditions when the air is being entering into this the piston and the cylinder will be getting extended. In the case of this uh, pneumatic condition, the air is released towards the atmosphere directly and in the case of this uh, hydraulic condition, the fluid enters here and outlet fluid will be trapped to the reservoir back again and the pump of motor will increase the set pressure and nominal set pressure set pressure containing the fluid will be driven to the inlet wall so by this pressurized condition for both the hydraulic and pneumatic cases the air enters into the cylinder and piston arrangement 
as it intends to move towards the forward stroke and if the return stroke the valve need to be arranged the different we need to call it the series will be looking further directional control valve the series directional control valve when it has been altered the input power supply will be connected to the second port and the output will be connected to the first port. and hence then the fluid will be entering the, towards the port number 2 and port number 1 will be trapped with the reserve wire in the case of hydraulic or in the case of this pneumatic port 1 will be placed towards the atmosphere as the air compressed air will be entering into the port at that particular time this pressure relates to towards the moment of the retraction stroke of this extended position of the piston towards the back compressed up position again so here the double acting refers to both the actions it is in forward stroke and return stroke of the cylinder and piston arrangement we will be looking on many of the examples further and here these are the mechanical stops required and even at this particular that the extension has been completed phenomenal so here double acting is a major role in both the actions will be performed but in the case of single actions what are the restrictions required spring return without any human involvement it will be returned put back to its original position and it will be in an extension position until the action cover is supplied so in the case of uh, this pneumatic devices it is very much similar to a hydraulic system but the power to weight ratio is much lower than the hydraulic system power to weight ratio so weight factor as well as the generation of output power will be very much high in the case of this hydraulic system when compared to the pneumatic system so hence it has it is very much low when compared to the hydraulic system because the air is compressible even it is compressed and deforms under the load it can change its shapes there's nothing to worry about it can be deformed under the loading conditions and always uh, tends towards the escaping factors towards the atmospheric range considering these pneumatic actuators when compared to hydraulic which exempt the power from the compressed air and it generates or tends to take the task there is an either switching on condition or off condition very much fast drastic movement with a quick action snip will be performed and big forces will reach an elasticity in this conditions there will not be any leakage problems because almost all the day if any some of the leakages are happening or existing will be tends to leak towards the atmosphere and hence there will not be any hazardous situations commencing in the case of this pneumatic actuators while the operation of these double acting cylinders is a pictorial representation consider when the electronic components are being connected with respect to the sensors for the operation of this actuators towards the forward stroke as well as the return stroke and this for our understanding sake that what are the different types of components that are existing in the circuit design that have been kept in this slide later we will be getting in detail discussion of operation of the hydraulic and pneumatic conditions for the lift here the major difference is in this is an open switch there is no any connectivity and hence this one will not be in operational process at all here there is a switch 
connected towards the characterization. And hence the power supply or hydraulic or pneumatic supply is being commenced to a wall wall. And hence when the supply is existing, the fluid or air will be tending and it tends to move towards the forward direction. And the output of fluid which is already existing at this side of the piston. So there is a piston towards the left side of the piston towards the right side of the piston. And this needs to be trapped to the reservoir again and hence this fluid will be entering into this direction and hence this is in switch off condition will not let this fluid to move this side and hence this wall will drive this fluid to the reservoir trap to the reservoir simultaneously it leads to the forward stream and if the reverse polarity has been connected then here the switch has been connected simultaneously at the wall one here the disconnection will be taking place and hence in the valve 2 it will be connected and at here the valve 2 it will be in open position. So alternating the connectivities of valve 1 and valve 2 nothing but directional control has been changed from the normal position to the reverse position. It leads to movement of fluid from this valve and hence this motor is supplying the pressurized fluid or the compressor provides the compressed air towards uh, the entering of uh, its valve 2 and hence the extended position of uh, its piston will be tends to move towards the left side direction hence the already existing fluid while extension will leads to move towards the backward and hence there is no any connectivity here and they will be trapped to the reservoir back again or else if it is in pneumatic operation this air will be reduced to the atmosphere so this is the nominal uh, movement or working scenario in the case of the double acting cylinder. So this is called an actuator cylinder and piston arrangement. And what are the different types of actuators that are existing? We'll be looking furtherly. Initially moving on with respect to them, hydraulic actuators. So this is the nominal circuit of this hydraulic actuating element when we use the liquid as the fluid we will be calling it as an hydraulic system and there is an arrangement of this reservoir which consists of the fluid here as we have been discussed in the previous slide that and the forward storage tends to the connectivities that is directional control wall and uh, switches operation so here to verify this uh, the nominally this reservoir is exposed to the atmospheric conditions and hence will be maintaining the universal standards for this fluid also and this fluid is pumped here and this pump or motor here will be connecting motor and motor will increase the pressure existing than the normal atmospheric pressure when these offense is being in contact with respect to the atmosphere and will be condition or tends to have the normal atmospheric range of conditions either in the case of these properties it will be getting slightly deferred other than this normal H2 that is what viscosity levels will be getting varied based upon the type of fluid so this fluid will be tends to pump that is something increasing its pressure will be storing initially will be entering into the accumulator here the accumulator is some temporary storage to us so temporary storage to us overall will be storing in the accumulator and the set pressure will be entering into the cylinder set pressure upon the operating wall this wall will be tends to set in five bar of pressure nominally so if high pressure is being entered here only 5 bar will be allowed by this particular wall and the remaining pressure if there is any extra pressure entering by this pump will be stored back into the accumulator and the 5 bar of pressure will be continuously entering into the initial position of this piston and cylinder arrangement and leads to move towards the forward stroke let us have a look about uh, these components vice versa if uh, the simultaneous condition 
and the fluid which is entering in the opposite in the forward direction if it is moving already having a fluid is being trapped back to the reservoir and upon changing this directional control valve and this fluid this regular indications will be connected to this pipe this port and this port we will be acting as an return stroke and this will be drive and trapped back to the reservoir this is the reverse condition contraction now let's have a brief look of uh, the different components situation existing in the case of hydraulic actuators first one is a linear movement consideration and even it can be change it its linear movement to the rotational movement with the help of some linkages gear linkages so it is big forces without the gears actuators so these are the actuators are very much simple and in mobile machines also we can be realized but as compared with respect to the efficiency it is limited to some extent when considered uh, in the case of uh, mini application points and when compared to the maximum it will be high efficiency components related to the motor and pump motor drives the fluid from one place to another place pump increasing by increasing the pump pressure of that uh, fluid it will be trapped the fluid from one place to another place and this an actuator combination is lighter than the motor generator battery motor and gear combinations and coming to different types of valves in the case of this hydraulic section servo valves These are very much complicated in structure and high cost effect, expensive. Because then economical in the case of economical is very much high in range. And these are uh, very well controlled, uh, having a good control. In order to the proportional valves, these are very much simple. As we look after in the domestic cases also. and this will be very much less in a expense or less in economy this are robust more difficult to control then the digital hydraulics this are very new which acts as in most of the conditions of the Fastly switching on and off conditions takes place here, and is still controlling of the flow. We'll be having the look of different types of actuators in the case of these cylinders. So, single acting cylinder and double acting pistons. Operating with respect to the plunger, there is nothing but pressing type. In the case of this single acting, next one piston with respect to a spring return. Then the plunger type, the button need to be switched on here at that particular time. The fluid flows through the opens, and when it has been retracted back again, there will not be any flow. In the case of this piston. when it is being compressed the fluid will be closed that is fluid is being entering here and it tends to move towards leftward direction and it will be getting compressed and of compressing this port too will be getting open and when you have been switched off this uh, high pressure fluid simultaneously this uh, pressured conditions or switching conditions there is compressed factor of piston will be tends to move in an opposite direction or nothing more 
to an original position of spring extension and hence the fluid supply from point E to port B will be getting cut off and this is the operational process. Next the telescopic which is having further extension from one side to the n number of channels and fast moving based upon the incrementing of the pressure. In the case of this, uh, the black tin piston, work is done in both the directions as you have been seen in the previous uh, slides that fluid entering towards the A side leads to an tense of extension of this piston and simultaneously then in the opposite direction point B the fluid being acting simultaneously it will be tends to move towards the left direction or contraction position. As an piston rod on both the sides, it can give the clarity clarity related to any number of channels need to be maintained by a single piston. In such a cases will be utilizing for bilateral movement of a fluids from one channel or one port to the another port and tandem there is an interlink case between two inputs and two outputs simultaneously where the fluid is made to be acquired for only one input and that fluid need to be initiated first first the fluid high pressure fluid will be entering into the channel one and at this junction point will be split towards the AP. Instead of traveling at this particular range, this is the shortest distance that need to be occupied initially that enters the fluid into the cylinder and piston arrangement. It tends to move towards the second piston arrangement also. Simultaneously, the written contraction it enters here. Already, already entered fluid pressure will be opposing backward movement, and hence the high pressure fluid will be entering towards the B2 and it tends to move towards the leftward direction and hence the fluid already entering into this particular channel will be drained back to the reservoir in the return stroke. And telescopic condition, it isn't very much simple, uh, that extinction and contraction can be taken in a simultaneous movement and even in the fast moving conditions. What are the different uh, type of uh, advantages of hydraulic actuators? High power to weight ratio is attained in the case of this hydraulic large forces at low speeds compatibility with the microprocessor so tolerances of uh, extreme hydraulic components the tolerance very much slight variations also can be monitored in the case of this hydraulic actuators whereas in pneumatic it tends to move very much quickly at some random actions it's very much hard to cope up with the tolerances. Where in the case of this rotometer concept or photo rotor concept, the rotor van is being rotated, oil is being trapped to the system and segmented then rotor 1 and rotor 2 rotates with an normal speeds and upon single rotation the fluid which is entering into the one channel need to be delivered at a particular channel that maintains the output. For example if the torque that is maintaining this is T and the area occupied where the fluid internally upon rotation is D is equal to T into dr and generates the following formulations of quick delivery upon orientational basis. There is a circulatory basis. The A is the effective area of the system, there is the working pressure that is being generated upon the rotation of the brain achieved by the fluid. So applications of uh, this hydraulic motors most probably in the upcoming generations as such the androhumanoid robots at various joints will be realizing this hydraulic 
conditions for commencing the prescribed task to a particular length of range. We'll be having a detailed look towards the application of these hydraulic motors. Even there's an investigating stage that the use of hydraulic activators to provide the strength, speed, and compliance needed for the humanoid reboot. And as per the historical theory and analysis of them, hydraulic joint, remember the hip joint, I mean, humanoid robot. So these controllers have been decided that allow the limb to have a range of characteristics such as being stiff or compliant. And upon this hydraulic activation, there are gen generates some of the advantages simultaneously the limitations as well. Actuators are very much a small relative to the power that they provide, which allows these limbs to be very much strong and lightweight. And is an temperature resistant. Oil must be routed to each activator via an hydraulic hose, and hence, hydraulic hose is nothing but the pipes which are connected in the to travel the fluid from one place to another place. So, high pressure containing fluids need to be transferred so that uh, the pipes uh, which are uh, utilized in the fall as an hoses will be coped with respect to the pressure generated. There must be exist a pump to supply high pressure oil in the case of uh, this hose pipes. We will be looking after this uh, pneumatic conditions in the next class and the differences between this hydraulic and pneumatic in the next class. Thank you.